Hello folks and welcome back to the channel Double Tap here and today we're doing a beer review. I've literally been to the supermarket an hour ago. Come across this one, it's called Marston's Pedigree Amber Ale. Not seen it before, but that's what it looks like. So let's have a little look. Marston's Burton on Trent Brewery established 1834. This is 4.5% volume and as I said it's a pedigree amber ale. Uh, what's with the three barrels? Burton the town, it is Marston's the Burton Union, a unique brewing system, DE14 Innovation Brewery and Brewing the Future. Okay then, so... <laughs> What's with bottle conditioning? Bottle conditioned beers contain live yeast which smooths and enhances the depths of flavour of the beer over time. The maturing process from the yeast also means the flavour is much closer to the cask pedigree you're tasting in the pub. Uh, and there's recommended storage, 500ml and introducing pedigree or P as it was first known, strange that, looking back anyway, it was fascinating aroma with a palette of biscuit malt, spicy hops and light fruitness or fruit, fruitfulness. It was renamed in a staff competition back in George Peard's day. He was our head brewer at the time. That's him on the front cover. Cheers George. Oh right, so that's your man right there. Okay then, we've read all that we need to, so let's crack it open and see what it's like. Also, I did buy myself something on eBay, which I've been looking at for a while. Let me show you that bottle lid, uh, which I'll run through in a minute. Let's pour this off and have a look. It smells quite nice. There's quite a bit of froth going up the neck of that bottle, but there's no gases as such. Let's pour it off. Quite a lively beer this is. Okay. Lovely colour. It's like, uh, looks like a uh, light amber, bit of ruby in it, don't know if you can see it in that light but it looks quite good, there's a ton of carbonation going through there got a nice head on it as you can see, so let's have a smell very very light uh, malt, it smells um, if you've ever tasted bass or man's beer, M-A-N-N-S that's what it smells like but not a strong aroma. It isn't that strong, the aroma. Yeah, so cheers, folks. Yeah, it's a nice point, that is. Uh, you can taste the light malt in it. Definitely uh, on a par with man's beer, definitely. But because of the volume, it's a lot stronger. Uh, it does have a little bit of an aftertaste, but within a couple of seconds, that just goes straight away, that does. Head's going down a little bit now. But it ain't a bad point. It's all right, this one is. Uh, personally, um, it, it doesn't hit the mark that a point of bass does. I, I prefer bass, but that's my favorite beer. If I had a choice of this and man's beer, which I think man's is also a parallel, I think it is, I'm not 100%, but I haven't drank it in a good while. I'd prefer the, I'd buy the man's beer because I prefer the taste of it. But as points go, it ain't too bad, it's all right. Mm. I mean, I can't really, Put the, put the flavours into words, uh, but it, it's a decent point. I, I quite like it. I don't think I'll buy it again. 
I only brought it as a tester to see what it's like, but I do like pale ales. Um, I don't think I've tried an amber ale in quite a while. If I have, I don't remember it, but um, I'm not a hundred percent with amber ales. Um, if you like them, give it a go because I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. It's unfortunate that I'm not really that much of a fan. I'm not going to say it's bad or anything because it isn't. I've tasted a hell of a lot worse out, out of a shop brought bottle. That one, uh, I brought that from a local supermarket and I think it cost, uh, actually it was on special, that's why I brought it. It was £1.63 a bottle and they'd marked it down to £1 because I was going to buy either a bottle of Bass or a bottle of Mans and review that because I enjoy them and I haven't reviewed them yet. But this one, at the moment, it was a pound, that's why I tried it. Anyway, getting on to the second thing that I brought. When I was growing up, I can remember on my nan's key rings, she always had one of these, and it was for a beer called Watney's Red Barrel. And, uh, I got two of them off uh, eBay uh, because it reminded me of my nan when I seen them and I got them for a really good deal I mean some of the people are selling one of these for £5 plus postage but I got these I think with the postage for the pair of them I paid £7 and uh, I'm quite pleased at that Watney's Red Barrel uh, the brewery is still going and they've brought out another Watney's beer but apparently it's not the same as the original Watney's Red Barrel and they're selling it in little cans from what I've seen on the internet haven't seen any in the sh any of the shops that I've been to but apparently you can buy it online but uh, I might at some point give it a go I don't know how much they are I think they sell them in individual cans or a pack of four it's general labour I think they're only 330 millilitres it's one of those uh, can of coke size tins so but yeah I was really pleased at that my Watney's Red Barrel really happy but anyway folks getting back to the beer it ain't a bad point it's got carbonation in it it's still got it from when I opened it up until now the head is gone down and the legs on the beer there, there ain't much but if you like an amber ale I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy this one because it had a bad point, it's just not for me unfortunately. So cheers folks, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next episode, so bye for now. <sighs> Lovely job, love.